Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Exiguous Shebang, I think, by <laughs> Libby Bapper. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. Qtos is not part of the intended solution. Just don't. Medium difficulty, 6 out of 10 for experienced players. All moves are easy to execute. No ninja skills, no bunny hopping, no cube tossing, no glitches, no great glitch. Uh, this is one of two tests that share almost the same layout with a few changes that make the solution perhaps quite different. Uh, so that's the other one which we'll get to tomorrow hopefully um when playing each of the maps be sure to pay close attention to the differences some of which are very subtle and very important solving one of the tests may or may not be helpful to solving the other note <coughs> all three cubes also respawn the orientation of the red cube as it spawns is important okay um climbing one cube allows you to get up to a surface half height climbing two cubes allows you to get up to three quarters high okay yellow fields block portal yep uh take a look around while you're in the entry level as you won't be able to go back there for a while piston platform under the red cube dropper is set to automatically move it will sometimes kill you if you try to go through a portal placed on it um two pencil buttons life preserver signage a reset button solely for anti-trapping if you ride the orange funnel to the area underneath the third cube dropper, there is a trigger that will reverse the funnel order to prevent you getting trapped. Um, when the fizzler oh my goodness, between rooms is off, there is a clear shot to the funnel surface in the laser room. Being in the orange funnel at the funnel source makes it that shot very easy. Uh, due to the funnel reflective great cube glitch, sometimes a reflective cube will lose collisions. I believe this glitch happens when you toss a cube into a blue funnel. These solutions simply avoid tossing reflection cubes into blue funnels. Solution is a uh, cube lose collision, toss a cube back into the funnel, and the collision should return. Uh, occasionally, I've seen a glitch where a trap platform serially becomes non portable. Usually, it will be fixed if you activate and deactivate it again. Uh, saving. Huge thanks to nobody, no one, Rocks and Souls, Leo Meaves for playtesting, offering excellent advice. You're essential to the process of creating these maps. Oh my goodness. When was the last time we had one of them? Probably when we had a big ass Demon Arisen spiel to go through. Alright. Funnel to exit with a cube. Okay, pull surfaces. Cube dropper. Some surfaces. That's just to pick the cube out at the end, I guess. Yeah, so I guess we'll get the cube here right at the end, just so we can use it to do whatever. Alright. Let's go up the ramp. No, I'm gonna go back! Okay, so that's to take us back up. We can use a funnel to get back up there on the cube. Gotcha. Big load of death. Oh my god, this place is huge, Libby. What have you done? What have you done and where am I meant to start? Possibly with a reverse funnel. Alright, well, let us begin. Let us begin. This monstrous task of whatever it is we're doing. Okay, so it gives me the reverse funnel. I don't know where I came from. Where did I come from? Oh, up there. 
jeez. It's a, it's a good start, Knock. It's a very good start, indeed. Okay, that's not there. Okay, so the two cubes here to get through there. So we could push a cube onto here. We could. I don't want to do that. I don't want to position that there yet, though, because um, that'll just kill us off, won't it? do anything up there at the minute. Can we go elsewhere? No, we need to move that panel. That's what that will move. Okay. So, um, I was wondering if I could, like, I was thinking if I could, like, go up there and then next to turning like level to there. Stuck on the first hurdle. There's no way. What, I, what I'm trying to get to is that there's no way I can send the cube up and then change the portal. That's what I'm trying to get to. We got a light bridge through here at some point. Um, okay, that's another thing I haven't considered though. All right, so let's do. to save a little bit of time. Okay. Well, that's not going to work either. My theory was there, if I went up to the top here with the this and did this. Oh, I could do that though. No, okay. I was kind of right. Kind of right is good enough for me.
How is that helpful? That's number one. Oh. I know exactly how that's helpful. question is, did I move it far enough to get past it? Kind of did. Alright, we'll take in that. We'll take in that. Okay. There was something about, wasn't there? The orientation of the cube is important. Is that to do where it drops out of a portal, perhaps? It said the... Where did I read that? Ha. Maybe I Did I make it up? Oh, there we go. It's there, right there. The orientation of the red cube as it spawns is important. So it spawns with its thingy facing towards there. Okay. So. make a start shall we
So how do I do anything from here? Heights. that whole death thing that Libby warned about in the uh, description. I didn't save in that other area. Save. Get the cube over to here. So I can actually go back over here like this will this allow me now to bring the other cube in maybe so I still feel like I need the cube oh no I can get around here okay Ignore that comment. All right, so I can see through to there. So what I think I'm going to do is...
But is that grated? Yeah, that's grated. Well, that's just great. Maybe that's good though, because I've got a portal here now at least, right? I see how we're going to hit that then. It's in line with this. Oh no. I also got to put it over there and then drag it back and then do that and that. Okay, that's different. I thought I would just drop down there and it hit, but um, clearly not. So I, I need to get the. Big The big thing here is to get the two Okay. I may have been stupid about the way I've done gone about this. There's a much easier way to get the cube back over to this side, isn't there? simply do that. Okay. That works. And this goes and sits over here. <clears throat> like this. Then... facing the right way. Oh, it's grating there. So... I've got to send the cube while the fizzler in between is still open.
because I've got to use the blue funnel. Let me take my own advice. So Okay, so now here, I think what I want to do is... Get a portal on the panel above. No, I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking this. Massively. I was on the right idea before. Okay. So this is now going to come down to the way I shoot the portal, isn't it? As in how it comes out of here. That would have been right if I'd have shot it a bit quicker. We're getting there.
missed it. Oh my goodness. I think that's because I I kind of shot the wrong portal first and I dragged the cube slightly out of the funnel. With the funnel, I mean. Or am I just not... Maybe this would be better from somewhere else. As in like, over this side, maybe? Um... Okay. Well, that did exactly what I expected it to do. So that's progress, right? Okay. So next I guess I want to get all the cubes back to the other side, right? Can I do anything here to get these? Well, I could force the reset. I think what I'll do first though is let's go back to let's go back over here. Throw the grains on the outside. That's what I wanted to check. Oh, but I can't, so I've got to force the respawn now. Okay. I have to do that. Okay, so now I've done this. We can go down to here.
try not to do that again. Okay. So this is now Operation Get Cubes Out. And I think what I need to do is I'm going to do all this using the cube from this side, is what I think. So, uh, maybe we should aim to get that cube first. So to do that, we will set this up. We don't need to do that, do we? Which once we've got the cube, once we've got a portal on both sides, we just simply bring the cube through, right? So, yeah, I don't think we need to be as complicated as I thought. I thought. Um, uh, can't do that. All right, just to speed things up, we'll do that. Yeah, it's not just a case of blocking that, is it? It's, I forgot, it's, um... We also need to have the portal on this side as well. Alright, so we've done that, we've done that. So then we'll do... This. The minute we touch this, this is going to be lost. Okay. We now have all three cubes on this side. However, I've made a mistake. I made a mistake. Alright, did I save that or not? So the mistake is I need to now drop the panel back down so I can use the funnel from this side of the fizzler. I did not. Excellent. Alright, so... Actually, no. What I did was right, because we could have just redone that and dropped through there to get on back onto there. Um, is it? No, we could we could do it, I think. Yeah, we could do it. Alright, so we respawn this. And then we go over to here. With this. 
and we can then put a portal on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I used the wrong cube though. I took the wrong cube. I need to take the I need to take the white cube up and then do the black one so I can respawn the black one again. That looks good to me. Then I take this up here, just for now. issue doing that though is how do I get back to the other side hmm. bring the cube first do what you originally did not bring the cube first Bring in the cube first, boys. Simulate getting another cube, don't know where it went. Okay. Now, this one back. Take the white one. That's why I needed to do that, wasn't it? So, okay. My gut instinct was wrong. I'm, but I'm yo-yo in here so much. Because I need to be able to use the funnel. So maybe what I do is, let's just quickly set up what we had before, which was this one here. And 
this was on here. Oscillating that platform, right? Okay, so that's the thing we still have right here. Use that to go up to here. Or I'd have to have shot that from down there. I would still have control of that funnel, right? Just trying to think what I would have done. That would drag me back, put that on there, that on there, shoot a portal on there, shoot that, shoot that. Okay, so I would have a portal here. Following this. So that doesn't seem like it's um, all right. How can I get across that gap? Short answer is I don't see a way. At the minute. I was just contemplating the thought, the idea of well, might be worth a try. So I'm contemplating the idea of what if I this cube. What if I use the momentum of this cube to reset the other one? Obviously it comes up short. So that's not it. I just don't see it doing it with any other cube other than the black cube because we can control the black cube from here.
Can I do anything with a black cube to stop the red one from respawning? But no, because even if I do that... At the minute, I can see one thing, I can see another, but I can't seem to put them together to come up with the final solution. Unless I'm looking at this completely wrong. And instead... Alright, it's not going to work. My, my thought there was, if I could make, maybe I'm looking at this wrong, maybe I need to be this side with the keys, maybe I want to be this side. Um, but I can't use the funnel. That's the big problem. Black, black cube is definitely easiest, so if we need to do anything with any cube... Not enough. I think I should take the black cube. See, the problem with this is I can't then do the... I can't do that because the black cube is now not there. I left the black cube there because I can easily respawn it from this side. Like that. Uh... Well, that happened. Anywho. Like, yeah, yeah, I got all three cubes on this side now. But it actually doesn't help me at all. So, I'm not sure which step I need to take next. And I need to give it some more thought. Unfortunately, I'm out of time now for this. Um, for the minute, I've got to get back to work. So, um, I have to give this some thought. And hopefully, I'll come back to it later um, with a way to solve it. So stick around, I'll be back momentarily. 
All right, guys, we are back with Exiguous Shebang and um, played around a bit with this last night um, before I headed off. And um, I actually got almost to the end. Uh, there's just one little thing that um, struggled with me. So where I left off in the previous segment of the video, I was kind of a bit torn as to whether I wanted to do that, uh, get that, or get the um, other cube. Because obviously, I can do one or the other without losing the portal surface over there. What I didn't contemplate, though, is I could do a combination of the both. Or a combination of the both. A combination of the two, which will actually get me what I need. So, um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to leave that cube in place over there, leaving this field open so we can return a portal here while going over to there. But we're going to kind of leave the black cube in limbo, that panel in limbo, uh, with the black cube up there, which is going to make that kind of oscillate. And we're going to travel through the funnel with the white cube on there. Um, allow us to pick up the red cube and get all three cubes back to here. So, um, that's the plan. Let's um, see if we can't put the plan into action, shall we? So, we'll do this. Like so. I'll put both cubes up here just for now. And we're going to want that. So we want the white cube on here. And then we'll send this one over to its resting point. Oh, actually, no. I've done that wrong. I need to leave this one here. That's right. Because if I... If I don't do this from over here and up, this, up top here, what happens is I then can't shoot a portal. I need to keep, uh, I need to be up in this top area. And if I can't shoot a portal, I've got no way of getting back up to this top area. So, yes. It's been, it's been the night I've slept since I last did this. So, it's bound to be a few bits and pieces. All right, so, we're now going to leave that in like an, this oscillating state. Now we go over to here, like so. Aha. And then we're going to do this, which will give us the light bridge. Yes, that's right. Because we need to get the way back. If we don't set the light bridge up and go from this side, we're not going to be able to have a portal on this side and get back. So we'll do that. Then we can go and do some cube collecting. Okay, so now it's about pressing this button at the right time. What about there, look? And that gives us the use of a funnel. Alright, things are looking up. We are getting there, finally. Alright, so I did this last night. I must say, I got a little bit carried away with how much progress I actually made off camera. Um, normally I kind of like, as soon as I made a bit of progress, I like to stop recording and, um, do a lot of it blind on camera, but, let's say, I got a little bit carried away, so what I'm actually going to do now is, we now need to stack these cubes. Remember in the description how it was so cryptically telling us that... We needed two cubes through a three-quarter block and one cube for a half block. Well, that's now coming into effect right here. So, we stack the two cubes. Uh, like this, maybe. Oh, I have lost collision. So, it's unfortunate. It's because I've thrown the cube into the funnel. There 
There we go. I didn't know there was a, a fix, by the way, Libby, for uh, the the, funnel, the collision glitch on the cube. So, um, yeah. This map I learned. Alright, so. Now we have this. And we're gonna wanna do this. I mean, I don't even think now we need any cubes. Because we can take all of these, right? But having said that, I think we are gonna we should have kept the black cube up here. So this is where I kind of got to. I made a mistake. Right, I'm just going to go back a little bit because I made a couple of mistakes. I shouldn't have jumped down. Is my first big mistake. I should have gone through the funnel. Okay, that should solve all our problems for now. See, that lets us go over to here like this, and we return to the entrance like so. And this is where I got to, because what I need to do now is I need to... Actually, I may know what to do. If I take two cubes through. Can I see that panel from over there? I can't. That wouldn't work. My my thought here was, could I somehow? But it's grated anyway, so I wouldn't be able to do it. I was thinking about pushing the cube sort of out of here. Yeah, but it would work if I had it there. Okay, maybe I don't need that. Maybe all isn't lost just yet. But you see the fact that Libby has put that... Yeah, that's, that's not intended. All right, well, hold on. Why do I have to do it like that? I could just do this in advance.
Okay. It doesn't matter that I go back around here. I can do this if I need to. That's fine. That's not fine. <laughs> oh dear, when will I learn inputs, outputs? Probably never. Black portal knock. Black portal! Well, doesn't matter, that's gonna do that. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to do this. No! Leave that there, please. Stay there. Good cube. Alright. Alright, let's pretend I got collision there because I really don't want to go and uh, redo that. The plan here would be to do this. That. Jump back up to here. Do this. And then this. That's what goes in the drink. I think I may have solved it. There we go. You managed to complete this absolutely meaningless test. All right, so yeah, that um, the bit where I was on the verge of getting all three cues was definitely the hardest thought bit, the, the bit of thought for me. Um, I had like the I had two different ideas, but it took me a while to see. I needed to kind of like merge them into one um, to make the complete solution. It's a very nice map, though. Very nice map indeed. Um, yeah. Um, so, um, I said at the top of the video um, that we would probably be playing the um, complete shebang, I think it is, um, straight after. Um, I may have to change it up because um, I am running out of time before I'm um, going away. So, um, I'm going to be playing a couple of other maps and then when I get back, I will make sure that I get through to the original. Um, apologies for the delay on that, Libby, but um, I don't think I've physically got enough time depending on how more much more complicated um, that one is. If I get time and I can, I will, um, but there is no guarantees, unfortunately. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any more slides to pay, please leave in the comments or over to my Google form. I'll link to that in the description. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. See ya.